Hey Buns, today we have some big news to talk about, and that's the announcement of Final Fantasy 16 that we got at the PS5 Showcase event. This actually happened while I was streaming, and I was sort of like half-assedly watching the PS5 Showcase, not expecting anything very exciting to happen. I just saw Shiva. I just saw... <gasps> oh my god! Is this... <gasps> it's different! The tank just died. Sorry. Now, before I get into the actual content of the trailer itself, I first want to address the other big, big announcement that Naoki Yoshida, yes, our Yoshi P, director producer for Final Fantasy XIV, has been confirmed as the producer for Final Fantasy XVI. At first, I was like, yay, Final Fantasy XVI, it's gonna be awesome. And then I was like, wait, you're not leaving us, right? You're, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna be too busy for us anymore. <laughs> Don't forget us. As it had been reported that he had denied involvement in Final Fantasy 16. I myself just released a video in which I referenced to translated information from a Japanese interview with Yoshida saying, Naoki Yoshida has confirmed that all rumors about him getting involved in Final Fantasy 16 are baseless and fake. So me, when I heard the news that he's in fact gonna be producer on Final Fantasy 16, I was like, did he lie? Did he lie to us? But as can sometimes happen when you're dealing with translations, sometimes small details and nuance can be lost. And it seems that the specific wording of the interviewer's question was actually, will you be a director for Final Fantasy XVI? And it is that which he truthfully denied, as he's not a director, but a producer. Very, very clever, Yoshida. Being a producer and not a director for Final Fantasy XVI, I think is good news for anybody worried about having to share him with other projects. He's ours. Y'all can't have him, he's ours. Go find your own Yoshida. Cause while a director has a more hands-on role in the creative aspect of the game and shaping the vision for the game and stuff that's gonna be in the game, a producer is hiring people and just making sure that everything is scheduled right, all the tasks are being completed in the right amount of time and handling the pacing of development. I've heard it said that it's only gonna cut into his free time. <laughs> so no problem, right? For those who are maybe newer to Final Fantasy XIV and don't know why we're all so excited that Yoshida is going to take a leadership role in Final Fantasy XVI, is because Yoshida took control of Final Fantasy XIV after it failed miserably with its 1.0 launch, uh, when it was, by all accounts, a raging dumpster fire beyond saving. I don't know what he did to piss off Square Enix that they would make him do this, but they gave him two and a half years only to try to fix the disaster that was 1.0 and basically nobody thought that it could be saved, especially in half the time that it took to develop 14 originally. Yoshida once explained that in order to meet the impossible deadline, he broke every development task into smallest constituent parts and then had each developer give a minimum and a maximum estimate for how long it would take to complete. All of that was collected into an enormous spreadsheet that factored in everything from meetings to bathroom breaks to give Yoshida a complete yet granular view of Final Fantasy XIV's development. The man got to work, y'all. Now, because of his hard work, we have articles like how Final Fantasy XIV clawed its way back from disaster to become 2020's best MMO. How did that happen? They hired the man, the myth, the legend. Naoki Yoshida. Final Fantasy XIV players tend to speak very fondly of him because it is well deserved. All the blood, sweat, and tears that he put into this game, uh, it absolutely pays off. Yoshida also keeps the trains running on time. That is, as pointed out in PC Gamer, instead of patches arriving irregularly, Final Fantasy XIV gets a major update every three and a half months like clockwork. Which is true. We only had a delay one time, and that was because of the pandemic. And they, they physically could not get into the office to work, uh, but now they're back on schedule. So, uh, considering that one of the most often cited reasons for some of the production problems with Final Fantasy XV was difficulty meeting deadlines and feeling rushed by Square Enix, like poor development pacing, I can't think of a better person for the job uh, for ensuring that doesn't happen to Final Fantasy XVI than Yoshida. God, can we just clone this guy? <laughs> like, send it. We need a copy of Yoshida sent to every game studio. Like, I wish I had the peace of mind knowing that every game I was excited about was being produced by Yoshida. Like, I need Yoshida planning my day. I need a copy. Also interesting to note that Final Fantasy 16 is in development under Square Enix's Creative Business Unit 3, which is led 
by Yoshida, and which of course maintains Final Fantasy XIV and its expansions. Also, the director for Final Fantasy XVI, uh, Hiroshi Takai, was assistant director for Rom Reborn and Heaven's Ward, as well as one of the development supervisors for Stormblood and Shadowbringers. So, needless to say, Final Fantasy XVI is in very good hands. Before I move on to the trailer, I also wanted to point out this comment from Yoshida on uh, the Final Fantasy XVI announcement, where he said, Final Fantasy XVI producer, that's right, just producer, Naoki Yoshida here. It's like, hey, you remember how I said I wasn't the director? Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> how did you enjoy the trailer? The exclusive footage comprised of both battles and cutscenes running in real time represents, but a fraction of what our team has accomplished since the start of development on this on all new Final Fantasy game. In that span, the team's size has grown from a handful of core members to a full-fledged unit that continues to polish and build upon what they have created so far, all to provide players an experience unmatched in terms of story and gameplay. Our next big information reveal is scheduled for 2021. It's a while away in 2020 time. It's like a thousand years. So in the meantime, I expect everyone to have fun speculating as we have a lot in store, not only for Final Fantasy 16, but for Final Fantasy 14 too. Needless to say, I'll be working hard on both. But when will you sleep, Yoshida? <laughs> when? Okay, so now let's talk about the trailer itself. I just rewatched it and I'm like chills. I got chills right now. Again, it has this medieval setting that is sort of reminiscent of something like Final Fantasy Tactics, which I am here for it. I love the medieval, like real Western fantasy type setting. In the beginning, you see the guys are talking about how they're looking for Shiva's dominant and they, they don't know like which girl is the Shiva don dominant, but just got to find her. That is probably some kind of summoner type person, someone who can maybe summon or transform into a Shiva. About Shiva herself, the little bit of footage we got of her summon, she's beautiful as always, uh, absolutely stunning. Who can, who can resist Shiva, right? But I don't know, as far as designs of Shiva go, um, I felt like she was a little bit bland, um, not, not super unique or like eye catching, just kind of like kind of standard. Like a little basic, a little basic for this design of Shiva. I think I prefer uh, Final Fantasy XIV's uh, Shiva design with like the big, uh, crazy uh, ice crystal hair. Ifrit looks amazing. Titan looks awesome. Uh, can you pet the dog? That, that is the real question. A lot of the trailer actually reminded me a bit of The Witcher, especially looking at uh, some of these darker scenes and like the misty, murky swamp. He's fighting the Morble and he's got the sword and he's got the fire. Oh man, I loved this. I think I've seen, I have replayed <laughs> this part so many times. He's fighting some kind of a gremlin or a goblin or something. And you see like this finishing move where he like stabs his sword into the thing and you see all this blood coming out. Man, this game is actually gonna be pretty gory, <laughs> which is uh, a lot of people, I don't know anybody that's not excited about that. Uh, I, you see like the blood splatter across this little kid's face and people are like, oh, is this going to be an M-rated Final Fantasy game? I hope so. <laughs> yes, blood. Blood. This little kid has this some kind of a terrifying power that he doesn't have any control of. Really reminded me of Siri again, uh, a little bit of Witcher vibes for me. It says the legacy of the crystals has shaped our history for long enough. And it sounds like that, you know, classic Final Fantasy narrative of let's go kill God. Like we're gonna go kill the gods. We've had enough of all of the manipulation from this power from beyond and we're gonna take matters into our own hands. And yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. And before I forget, Dragoon portrayed accurately, we see the Dragoon jump in, do these spins, and just look like complete badass. And then, uh, a couple seconds later, floor tank. Had to, had to do it. Look, you, we don't want to keep making these jokes, okay? This is a dead horse. <laughs> we don't want to keep beating this dead horse, but you just keep it coming. Dragoons, why? As for the combat, uh, a lot of people have been saying, well, it's reminiscent of Devil May Cry 5, which might make sense considering that Square Enix recently hired Ryota Suzuki, one of the battle directors for Devil May Cry 5. Um, he, I don't think it's confirmed yet that he's working on 16, but he's definitely been hired by Square and it looks like his handiwork. So uh, that's speculation, but it seems likely. I do see like the cool flying, like light streaky 
combat from Final Fantasy 15, which I actually really liked that part of 15. Again, though, this is just a trailer, so knowing how combat will feel is a pure wild speculation at this point. So yeah, tell me what you thought about the trailer. Is there anything in it that you've noticed that I may have not noticed on the 30 times that I watched the <laughs> trailer? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of darkness. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.